Milo, have you seen how many bees are in the garden today? Yeah, there are lots of them. We have to be careful not to bother them so they won't sting anyone. I don't like being stung by bees. Once I got stung on my arm and it got all swollen like a giant potato. Thanks to bees, we have flowers in the garden. Uh-huh. If they didn't go from flower to flower collecting and spreading pollen, we wouldn't have any flowers. Ooh, wow. Hello, little bee. How are you? Hello. What's the matter? Is it because you're tired of going from flower to flower? No. The problem is that I don't know how to collect pollen. Nobody ever taught me how. Then we better do something about that. Yeah. My friends, we have a problem. There's a bee that doesn't know how to collect pollen, and no one has ever helped him learn. We need to show the bee how to collect pollen. Um, and what happens if it stings us? Bees only sting when they feel threatened, but we're going to help her, so there's no need to worry about getting stung. So team, are we all ready to help our new friend? Yeah! We've all decided that we're going to help you. Soon you'll be the fastest pollen collecting bee. We just don't know exactly how we're going to do it. Let me know when you figure it out. I'll be playing in the flower garden. Wait for me, Mumu, I'll go with you. Why don't we all just give him an example? What a great idea, Alfred. Yeah, yeah. We'll all pretend we're bees and go from flower to flower collecting pollen. We'll put a little bit of pollen in Mumu's hand, a little bit in Rita's hand, and a little more in Olga's hand. And he'll see how it's done. Little bee, you're going to learn something new. Come with us. Little Bee, stay with Milo while I get everything ready. Rita, you stand back, right behind that rock. A little more to the right, two steps back. Perfect! Mumu, you stand four steps to your right. One, two, three, four, perfect! You and Alfred, um, you're just fine right there in the middle. Very good. Everybody ready? Little B, pay attention to what Olga's gonna do. Go! Did you see how Olga goes around touching each of their hands? That's what you need to do. You must go from flower to flower, collecting the pollen from each one. Oh, all right, little bee. See how easy it is? You just have to fly from flower to flower. Now you must do the same thing. Go and fly from hand to hand, touching each one, then fly off to the next one. Got it? Mm, I think so. Also, Olga has placed a bit of pollen in each hand for you to grab and to carry in your legs while you fly. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready! Very good, little bee. Now fly towards Alfred. Fly towards Moo Moo. Oh, great. The bee is coming for its pollen. What happens if the bee thinks I'm a flower? Will he pollinate me? <gasps> and what happens if he stings me? Milo said the bee wouldn't hurt me. But if he stings me, I'll be mad. 
Maybe it's better when he gets here that I put my hand down so he doesn't come near me. But if I do that, he may get mad at me. That bee will sting me for sure. I think I better just run when he gets here. He's almost here. I'm so scared. I'm out of here on the count of one, two, three. Ah! A bee! the pollen. The bee is your friend. I'm sure if I were to turn around, it would sting my uh -uh. behind. Don't be silly, Moo Moo. Bees can be our friends. Ouch! A bee just stung my behind. Somebody help me. It really hurts. This summer, I'm going to go to the beach and go get some sun and go swimming. I haven't gone to the beach in years. How long have you been afraid of water? You're kidding, Talalo. I would have never guessed that you were afraid of anything, much less of water. Don't worry. You won't have to swim here. We'd better go back home now because it looks like there's a storm heading this way. Yes, let's go inside because it's supposed to rain today. Oh! Look how hard it's raining! I really love rain. So do I. It could rain for days and days. I love it. Let's take a walk around the terrace. Momo, you'd better come inside because it's raining real hard and you're going to get struck by lightning. Nothing can happen to me. The rain is my friend. It's my friend too. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Ooh. Oh, that lightning came really close, didn't it, Moo Moo? It was way too close. I think it'd be better if we went inside. I'll go first. It wasn't Moo Moo. It was the rain. It rained all night long, and now look what has happened. Everything is underwater. So that means technically we are now an island. We are now Vida Island. Forget about that. We are now Habit's Island. Yeah, that's it, Habit's Island. Who wants to go swimming with me? I'll go in with you. I'm going swimming, too! Now it's my turn! But I'm diving in from the roof, as if it were a diving board. Hey, wait for me!
That's impossible, Talalo. There are no sharks in here. A shark? There aren't any sharks here, Talalo. A what? Help me! There's a shark! A, a shark! Somebody do something! Swim faster, Alfred! It's gonna catch us! I'm swimming as fast as I can! We're all safe now! For a moment, I thought he was going to gobble me up in one bite! That was really scary! It's a surfboard! Now what do we do? Well... <laughs> <laughs> from the sky. How did you get to be so strong, Talalo? Look at how many apple trees there are. And they're all full of apples. It's incredible. You're right. Talalo, next time you need to kick it softer. Look at the ball. It's right under the apple tree. Let's go get it. That's what you get for kicking the ball so hard. Huh? Huh? Where's that laughter coming from? Huh? I haven't laughed so much in a long time. <laughs> it was pretty funny, wasn't it? <whistles> Mr. Apple Tree, why are you so far away from the other apple trees? Well, you see, I was born in this place. And it never bothered me to be a bit farther away from my brothers. This way I can grow bigger and be more comfortable. But this year it hasn't rained very much and I haven't gotten any water. My brothers have been able to grow many apples, but I haven't been able to grow a single one. As you know, what we apple trees like to do most is grow apples, so that everyone can taste how good they are. Uh-huh. Is there anything we can do to help you? Not unless you can make it rain and make the wind take all these dead leaves away. Anyway, I hope that one day you can taste my apples. We've got to go now, Mr. Apple Tree. But don't you worry. We'll try and help you real soon. My friends, we need to help Mr. Apple Tree. The poor guy has no water and hasn't been able to produce any apples. Um, what can we do to help? What a great idea, Talalo. We'll make Mr. Apple Tree as good as new. It's raining! I can't believe it! Water! 
water! Lots of water! This is totally awesome! It's you! Thank you so much for doing this! Mr. Tree, he's got flowers growing out of his head. That's strange, isn't it? Moo Moo, those flowers grow out of all the apple trees, and they will all turn into apples in just a few days. Good morning, Mr. Apple Tree. You sure have a lot of flowers now. All those flowers are so pretty. Thank you, my friends. When my apples are ripe, you can eat as many as you like. That's great. I want a basketful just for me. We'll check back soon to see how many apples there are. See you tomorrow. It's amazing how many apples there are. Hurry, hurry. Come here, everyone. You are not going to believe this. It's incredible. I see hundreds and hundreds of apples. It's awesome how many there are. Are all of you ready? Are we ready for what? Look how many I have. I have even more. Thank you, Mr. Apple Tree, for so much fruit. They are all for you, for having been so kind. See you later. That was a lot of fun. We should go to the forest and look for trees, and if we see that they're dry, we'll give them lots of water. Yes, it's wonderful. Look how many apples Mr. Apple Tree has given us. Everyone, look at me. I'm a tree with flowers on my head. And these apples are so good. Um, 